your goal in leading students in this program? Oh, it's um, absolutely about citizenship. No program I'm aware of does a better job of making students excited about what it means to be an active citizen. Be engaged, be happy, um, be enthused by what you're doing. Uh, everything that we have heard from every other judge in every unit has been, it is not simply our command of factual material, but it is our enthusiasm for it. We lean into the questions. Oh, I can hear that you're ready. <laughs> you bet. Oh, your voices just sound full. I, please be seated. I am Maida Buckley, the state coordinator from Alaska, and I'm very pleased to bring your unit four judges, and they will introduce themselves. Have a good time. Parliament's ability to impact the formulation of legislation has historically been new. This, however, is changing. Um, I think that I would just like to tell other high school students that you don't know really everything that our government has to offer you until you've read the Constitution and until you've learned about the delegates who fought for your rights. I mean, I don't think that you can utilize all the freedoms that you have um, until you learn how to exercise them. Some of the most famous debates in American history echoed anti-federalist arguments in which Lee participated. The 1858 Lincoln-Douglas debates in the 1960s, civil rights debates reflected the conflict of states' rights versus national power. No debate since 1788 has come close to the nationwide intellectual exchange that led 18th century Americans to doubt their nation, the empire of reason. Thus, we assert the ratification debates are not one of, but the greatest and most probing debates in American history because they paved the way for all future political discourse. A Federalist, writing with Publius, countered with the most extensive series of essays in support of ratification, the Federalist Papers. In Federalist Papers 20 through 23, Publius argued that the Articles had produced an ineffective government. Additionally, Papers 47 through 51 argued the need for separation of powers. I was just looking at Federalist 84. Publius is just attacking the most intemperate partisans of the Bill of Rights. That's kind of like in your face in the time. So these were not dispassionate debates. You know, we go to a school that has a government center, but we still are, are, are constricted to a certain group of people and, and being exposed to uh, all these kids who have the same kind of interest in government uh, as we are. That, 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 that's really something special.